welcome back to another video for my 25 days of holiday makeup series. Um, so starting off this look, we're going to be using the P. Louise base as usual. And I just want to get let you guys know that originally in my head, this look was supposed to be red, green, and gold. But the color that I was using wasn't really coming off as red as I thought it was. It came off more of this pink color. So let's just pretend that it's red. And I kind of realized I don't really have a really good red eyeshadow in my collection. So that is something that I need to pick up. But anyways, I'm using this palette by Bad Habit Beauty. It's just like a really inexpensive eyeshadow palette. Um, the eyeshadows are really pigmented. Are they the best quality? No, but you know gotta use what you got. So I applied that in the inner corner with a small little blending brush and now I'm taking a deep brown to really deepen up that look, um, that color basically and I was trying to make it a little bit more red but yeah it just wasn't working. I still like the look a lot. I just think it would look more festive if it was a true red. Anyway. Um, now I'm taking a little blending brush and I'm just taking a black eyeshadow just to um, really deepen up that inner corner and I will do the same on the outer corner in a little bit as well because this is going to be a halo smoky eye. Now working on the outer corner I'm going to take the dark green from the James Charles Morphe palette and I'm just working that um, upwards into the the pink color but I'm not really bringing it too far into that color. You just kind of want to mesh them together a little bit so they're blended but you don't want to actually blend them together because they're they're not two colors that you really can blend together it's just going to start to look a little like messy and just create like a gross like brown color so um and now I'm taking a lighter green and blending out that darker green and just diffusing the edges with this bigger blending brush Okay, so now I'm just going back in with the green just to blend out that black a little bit. Um, I know this look looks crazy, but once you cut the crease, it really does come all together. So now I'm going to cut the crease in. I'm really just focusing the cut crease in the center of the eye since this is a halo eye. You don't want to bring it all the way to the inner corner or all the way to the outer corner. Um, and I'm just using this little concealer brush by Shop Miss A. They have a lot of great little detailed detailing brushes, um, specifically concealer brushes, that are really good for like carving out the brows and cutting the crease. And what's amazing is they're only a dollar. So check out shopmissa.com. Um, they just make really great like little concealer brushes. Um, anyways, I'm just going in with the pigment that I actually used in yesterday's video. If you haven't seen yesterday's video, go check it out. But it's a pigment by Jcap Beauty. And then I decided to go over it so just to make it pop a little bit more with the lightest golds from the Juvia's Place Saharan 2 palette. Just because I wanted the eyeshadows to be a little bit more vibrant. And now I'm just going back in with the blacks just to make sure that we didn't really lose any of that pigmentation. Um, just because I really want that area to be dark and then I decided to go in with a bronzy color just to apply it on the edges to blend into the lighter gold um, you don't really have to do that step but because I actually kind of ended up going over it anyways but I figured I'd just show it because why not uh, but now I'm going in with the pink shade that we used first and blending that next to the black and I'm going to do the same thing with the green shade on the other side Okay, so taking a dark green eyeliner by NYX Cosmetics, I'm just applying that to the waterline. You could use black if you wanted to, um, but now I'm just taking the darkest green that we used on the lid and applying that on the lower lash line to blend out that eyeliner, and then I'm going to go in with the lighter green to blend out that darker green eyeshadow as well. And my dear, we're still Let it snow. 
I decided to go in with a liquid eyeshadow by MAC Cosmetics. Um, you don't really have to do this, but I do feel like by adding a liquid shadow on top of your pigment or press shadow, whatever you use, it does make the eyeshadows pop a little bit more in photos especially. So that's just a little tip for you if you feel like your eyeshadow isn't popping enough. Add a little bit of like a shimmery liquid shadow or a glittery liquid shadow just like in the center and it really does make a big difference um but yeah i just added a little inner corner highlights and that is it pop on some lashes and you're good to go so thank you so much for watching today's video and i will see you in tomorrow's